love it when the coffee's done. How the devil are you? Now this is going to be a partial video response to three creations. How important are genres to you? Now, Three Creation has been doing these really wonderful one-take videos asking lots of questions about music. Before I launch into this partial video response, uh, I want to thank all of you for like your like your feedback. In the future, if you enjoy something particularly, go do more of that. And if you don't enjoy a video particularly, go don't do more of that. That kind of sucks and offends me. And this person up here said, I want you to talk a little bit more about music. And thankfully, um, I popped in the doobly-doo a lovely, lovely playlist of stuff Stuff that I've been listening to recently. But this isn't what the video is about. Uh, about five years ago, um, around about this kind of year, I went into a recording studio for the first time. I, I, I was 16, I played the drums, and I was in a band called The Fall Down Freddy. Um, it was me and my friend Sam at the time. Um, Sam is, um, I, I hope, continues to be this really musical maestro, and he does lots of fantastic club music now. Um, but, he's, um, but he used to be a folk musician. He plays the piano better than anyone I've ever met. Uh, he plays the violin better than anyone I've ever met, and has a really great knack for melody. So around about five years ago, we did this song. We, did it, we called it the Trial of the Flies, which is fantastic and like in the near future I'm going into a recording studio again. A lot has changed in this past five years. Like I'm now more confident with my ability with like more instruments. I've been gigging a shit ton. I've been doing open mics a shit ton. I've recorded all of these albums in the interim period, but a couple of things have remained constant. Whenever somebody asks me, dude, what key are you playing in? Or, dude, what's your genre? My response is, I don't know! Especially on the second one, because when I write a song, I don't think with genres in mind. Except if it's a blues or something. Um, in which case, all that means is that the chord progression is... And I've realised, as far as musicians go, I'm kind of in a minority here. A lot of musicians, especially ones in bands, um, have a really clear idea about what their genre is. It helps choosing what chords you're going to play, what song structure you're going to use, or, or what kind of lyrics you're feeling for. But I don't follow any of that. Like, for example, the first album, untitled debut album, because I thought I was hilarious when I was 16, the first album begins with um, a poem by Siegfried Sassoon, um, with a bit of wharf on it. Um, it, it. It then goes into a big clubby bangery one, um, goes into a football chant, and then it goes into this thing that I recorded five years ago, an approach which continues all the way to the latest one. My opinion... It, my opinion on genres in music is, is that they're means of communication. Like these albums are made out of sheet music, and sheet music is very specific as to how you play a particular piece. It tells you whether to play it mournfully or aggressively. And I, and I think what non-classically trained musicians do is instead of saying, well, I want this piece played in allegro or piano, is, um, is they say, well, I want this to sound like the Mouldy Peaches, or I want this to sound like the Beatles, or I want this to sound like In Excess, or whatever the influences are. Which has its advantages and disadvantages. And I think the main advantage of communicating in this way is that if you decide to become a professional musician, you know exactly what's going on inside your head and you can communicate it to session musicians or other people in your band, um, like other people playing your music that isn't you, if you know what I mean. Whereas I have no idea how to communicate what's going up on up in here to other people. Here's the thing, I've had loads of offers from um, local record labels. I've had loads of offers from producers and things saying, we want to record your music and all this kind of thing. And I've only said yes to this, um, to someone who I know quite well. Should I take on this genre way of communicating um, if I decide to be a professional musician? Something which is scarily viable. Like I could ring somebody up and be signed by tomorrow. Which would be really great because I could go on tour and things and like, give my music out to more people. But on the flip side, I really like recording albums every six months and that's kind of not viable on a record label. Also, I'm a bit uneasy about asking people to pay for my albums, like with their actual money. That's kind of saying, this thing here, this thing here is something that you should invest in and it's worth your time. And you know, I like it but I'm not sure whether you will. And if I'm in a recording studio, do I say I want this song to be noise rock or rock and roll or rockabilly or R&B or whatever? I don't know how to conclude this video in a nice easy fashion because it's like all up in the air and things. Um, but if any of you are professional musicians or work in the music industry, could you kind of like give some pointers whether it's like an actually good idea to be a real musician? And I shall see you at some point in the future. I'm going to a mosque on Tuesday.